Alright, what's up? Everybody, starting now, we are going to be the hottest people you've ever seen in your life. And that's, that's, that, I mean that not in the metaphysical, but in, or in the <coughs> metaphorical, and I don't mean that metaphorically, or rhetorically, or poetically, or theoretically, Wrong or movie. any other- Bar talk? I am, it is like 90 <laughs> fucking degrees. <laughs> In New Jersey, <laughs> for no fucking reason. I am naked in yeah. front of all of my friends right now. And yes, I can show off my toned-ass shoulders and arms now. And Thank yes, it is gym. wrapped up in a rounded shoulder. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrapped up around my shoulder? Oh, boy. <laughs> but today, we're wasting no time. We're talking about the Mario movie. We got the yeah. round table that we had when we were talking about Puss in Boots again. We got Bandy Patty back in the call, as well as uh, Nega Man, Nega Dan. And then, of course, my beautiful girlfriend, Denise. Say something, Denise. <laughs> <laughs> Would it help if I apologize, Dennis? I'm a little agitated right now. It's very hot in here. I'm literally sweating from my nips, bro. Give me a chance. Dude, me too. Don't do this now! We just started! I'm begging you! I don't have a fucking job, Dennis! Please! I have nothing in this life! I drove to fucking Flushing two nights ago to take this fucker down here to the see the movie just so we could do this. Can you at least tell me what you're drinking? What are you, what are you drinking right now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Dennis is going last for the, for the Mario movie. <laughs> Oh boy! I'm actually, I'm actually kind of I'm I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how long he can do this. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Okay, Mario movie. We all saw it. I took oh, Evan boy. to see it the other night. Uh, Bandy saw it um, before almost any of us. I think I've seen it twice already. Um, <clears throat> who wants to go first? We'll, we'll, we'll do the round table uh, before Evan started whistling first. Um, if, if whoever has any like opening thoughts before we get into the nitty gritty. Uh, Please speak now or forever hold your peace. I loved it. <laughs> Thank you, Bandy. Uh, what did you love about it? Ever damn it, like uh, everything. Okay. <laughs> uh, I loved um, pretty much everything. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I right. liked it too. I honestly, there were parts of it that made me grin from ear to ear, and I mm -hmm. will say the um, I don't know if it was supposed to be funky in the cart. That was like driving Mario Peach and Toad to go see Cranky, but at that part, like, um, I'll give I'll give you guys a little fun fact for this. They actually originally were not supposed to be uh, playing Take on Me during that sequence. Uh, I told Evan this the other night, actually. Yep. Uh, originally they wrote like sort of like a very drummy Donkey Kong ish sounding percussion for that bit, but then I guess they wanted to just appeal to the general audiences a little bit more, just a tad. So they actually replaced it with Take on Me. Which I liked, because I actually really enjoyed the fact that they put, put more 80s music in it. And speaking of, it is a golden rule, truly, right? That we can all agree to this. It is a golden rule that if you have holding out for a hero in your movie, it's gonna be good. Yeah. I know, right? Dennis, you wanna say anything? <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, it's a good thing we were recording, ladies and gentlemen, because that's got to be some kind of fucking record. It's made all this breath for four minutes. I think that every song. Harry fucking Houdini over here. God damn. God damn. Yeah, yeah. God damn. Peaches, 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 peaches. Mario, Luigi, and a Donkey Kong do. <laughs> a thousand Mary Coopers couldn't keep me from you. Bitches, 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 bitches. Bitches! 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 The free net nitty at nude. Like, how are they gonna get Jack Black and uh, not have him sing? At least, like, one song. Like, how are you not gonna have him sing? That's Honestly, what I thought too. Like they, it, Jack Black puts so much more of himself into that character that I think any of us even thought, and we already all knew that Bowser was the best casting in that film. Yeah, I think oh, we yeah. all, oh, yeah. we yeah. all yeah. already knew that. I, I, I don't know why nobody guessed or expected a fucking song 
Like Jack Black. <laughs> yeah, I know I exactly. Know. I, I didn't expect to get like, Jack Black that hard. <laughs> Man, I haven't got I haven't gotten Jack Black since the hard that hard since David got blacked. <laughs> Jack Black oh, poured his oh, heart into that role. <laughs> Man, I, remember... I just I just remember like because David had seen it already when I went to watch it with him, and he he said it hit more the second time that Peaches song. Like he laughed harder, I think, than I've ever seen him laugh. <laughs> it was weird. Like it was I don't weird. Know, it's like I literally knew it was coming, but like it just got me anyway. It was like a fucking Five Nights jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of snuck up I on just, me anyway. The thing I remember the most was like when that happened. I heard you laugh after another dude belly laughed. <laughs> like, <Yeah. in> the <laughs> <end>. <laughs> like he was belly laughing. Bitch, you're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the part. Where, like, was, <laughs> I think what did me in was the part where he started saying, "You know, he's going peach," just and it's just a bunch of peaches show up on the yeah. screen. <laughs> 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 you know the <laughs> the one part though, like when he like started to speed up saying peaches, all I heard was bitches. Everybody did. Like I, that's the thing. Like I, I, and for me, Everyone I was just like, did this, did this really get past the editing room? <laughs> like, did they not like you know catch this at all? Especially when he's like basically shouting it. Yeah, exactly. It's, it sounds a lot more like he's going he's like screaming, yeah! like just. Bitches, like they got the top of his lungs, and I'm just like, oh, okay. Right. For me, I like I thought it was like a like a, an allegory for ass. <laughs> I mean, I, I was beef. like I was thinking about butts when he I kept mean, saying. Peaches did you over see over Peach's again. cake? Did, did you see her cake? Man? Oh yeah, her arch. Her arch, bro. <laughs> Dude, on that's on just the, the BBL. No, 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 like, no, no, you know, Peach, you, you know Peach got that BBL. She got that. It's just a butt well, lift, she bro. does, but not in the fucking movie. And, like those old timey dresses. They, they might no, have. No, had, like, she got no, cake. When she was on man. the motorcycle. When she was on the motorcycle. Oh, but you. Oh, actually, yeah. Never mind. Yeah. I, forgot, I, forgot, <laughs> I forgot about the jumpsuit. She Why are you arguing? Because I, I'm, I'm hot. I hate, okay. I hate you. I hate you so much for that joke. I hate you so much. I'm at. I'm at. I hate you as much as I hate Cranky Kong's casting. I'm a little. And you agitated, said you were going to argue with me eight. on that. I'll I did not like that casting. Yeah, yeah. Go, oh, no, go, no, not like go, that. Go I hated it. That. Not no, that I hated it. Oh, death fight. Death fight. Not not that I hated it, but out of all of the like just characters in it, I think it was the worst. Not even like that. It was terrible. It was just like no. I didn't hear Cranky. I didn't hear Cranky out of this oh, guy. You didn't like the Cranky Kong casting? You didn't yeah. like he, the fact that he sounded like an old, bitter Jewish man? But <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, I, yeah, had yeah, a, I have a bias, though. though, from that old oh, Donkey God. Kong uh, animated show. From, like, Where he way sounded back like when. Gilbert Gottfried. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So I was just kind of like, I fuck. Like, I, that's, a, that's on me, too, because that's my bias talking, but, like, you know, every time I saw Cranky in the games, I just always imagined him with that voice. He just sounds mm -hmm. like... Ah, Donkey Kong, like, you know, just yelling at I, him at the top of his lungs, like, Iago. <laughs> I saw one comment on YouTube that I cannot unhear now saying that uh, Cranky Kong should have been played by Mel Brooks. <laughs> oh, oh, yo! That would have been good, yeah. That would have yeah. been crazy. <laughs> That'd be a I agree. Actually, that that would have sounded good. That would have sounded great. I didn't even think that about that. funny. Yeah, I don't think... When was the last time Mel Brooks even did an animated film? I think it was Robot. Or think, did anything yeah, since, like, recently. He, I think well, he's no, 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 no. He, he produced... Um, They did a sequel to History of the World. Like, a mini-series yeah. oh, right, for yeah. History oh, of the World. Oh, okay. Hulu. I missed that. And, and he right. produced it, yeah. No! Oh, and wait, David. What's we up? have to issue an apology yeah, to a I, senior Pratt. I need to fill out... Uh, the for he was not, as it turns out, the worst bad. voice of this movie. I oh, genuinely in fact, need. He was actually serviceable. Yeah. yeah, I need to fill ah. out the Chris Pratt apology form, man. I don't know. When, maybe I was. Maybe I was. I was. I will, I'll check off all the boxes. I was jealous of Chris Pratt. You know, <laughs> fucking jealous of his money. Jealous, jealous of, of fame. his money. Yeah, Mer you know, Mercury was in retrograde. His I, I, <laughs> jealous of his huge penis. Probably. <laughs> maybe. I don't okay, know. so then for everyone, who was the worst? Sounding ooh, cast. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. Who was everybody's favorite? Because I gave favorite. mine. It was Cranky's. Chris, Ar what was I, his name? I, Chris Armisen. That Fred Armisen. Fred, Fred Armisen. Yeah, so that's that's mine. Honestly, I think it would be the same one. I don't know who I would. Th I can't think of anyone else I didn't like, uh, voice acting wise, aside from F Cranky Kong, because he did sound like an old Jewish man. Like, just yeah. like, kind of fed up with life. Like, <laughs> Which I yeah, thought was really appropriate no one else I could think for of. him, though. It's right? appropriate, I, but like, it was. I, I don't know. It just like I'm with Dennis in the fact that like I'm just blinded by nostalgia for like at, 
like you know cranky Kong sound like Gilbert Godfrey. I can so, agree yeah. with that. It, I think normally he should, but the fact that they decided to make Cranky like a king, like he's like the yeah. emperor yeah, yeah. of the Kongs in this movie. I felt if we talk like this <laughs> for the whole movie, like I felt like I that guess you're not gonna get my army. Y yeah, like yeah, it yeah. could have worked, but I actually like the sort of like older Jewish bitter jaded man sounding a little better for this if portrayal anything... of Cranky. Not for Cranky yeah. in general. If he sounded yeah. like that, like as Cranky normally appears, like in the DK show, I'd be like, ah, no. But if the fact anything... that he's supposed to sound like a king, which he isn't normally in the games, that mm. made me okay with it. Like, I, I could take it or yet. leave it. Like, I wasn't passionate yeah. about it, and I didn't yeah, really yeah. give a shit. I didn't hate it as much as Dennis did, but like, I don't know. No, 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 here's the thing. I mean, I guess I kind of rephrase that. Worst. It, it was, was off-putting for me at wasn't... first, and then it just kind of grew on. Yeah, me. like, it wasn't so much to the point that, like, I was, like, every time he talked, I wanted to leave. It wasn't that, like, nowhere near that bad. It was just kind of, like, I, I guess more so the proper word would be just off-putting. Because, mm -hmm. like, yeah. I... And I just kind of overall like didn't hate it, but I didn't like it either. I guess mm. just going I, off I the felt, levels there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I felt indifferent towards Cranky Kong. What I will say is, out of all the ones I did like, I wish they use um, Luigi more because Luigi. Yes. Oh so my god. Yeah. Utilized. Oh god. Yes. Charlie Day as Luigi was like. That's what I mean. Like great. I like Charlie Day was such a perfect casting, and we didn't really hear him as Luigi that often no, because yeah. he was just captured. So I'll tell you, um. And I'll go back to Bandy asked after this to ask her her fucking um her least favorite. I don't know if Day was my least favorite. I don't think he was. I think mm, he no. embodied the spirit of Luigi perfectly. Like I just sort of like, yeah. the cowardly, the little more cowardly brother who, despite being scared, does what's right. Charlie Day has that nervousness factor to him perfectly. He literally mm. reminds me of Dane. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be straight up. I'm gonna be straight up, Dennis. Like, I feel like I feel like oh. Dane. I feel like, dude, fucking Dane could play Charlie Day in the Charlie Day biopic, and I'm not even kidding about that. But yeah. uh, like, Dane, I hope you're watching like too. I hope, yeah, I hope you are listening, Dane, because uh, miss you, buddy. I gotta hang out with you again soon. Uh, also, but I feel like Charlie Day, like Chris Pratt, he got he actually got enough of the fucking Italian in him, which was great. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the, the, the no. Brooklyn in him. Yeah, it's like he it's sounded like, like he could have been from Brooklyn, but like it was a little more Charlie Dayish. But he still sounds yeah. like Sunny. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. always he, he literally yeah. still sounds like it's, it's always still Sunny. Urban city enough, but it like wasn't Philadelphia, my, yeah. and we all hate Philly. There's the reason why. I, like, think <laughs> that you know, I like again. I, I even agree with David. Like, I don't think it wasn't enough. That was what I'm saying. Like yeah. Pratt, yeah. somehow he got it down enough that I was just kind of like, I was like, oh shit, like. Almost made me like, kind of believe, like, oh damn, is Chris Pratt from New York out here? Like, but at least for a <laughs> quick five seconds. And but then you know you go to day, and it's just like all you hear is just Philadelphia white boy, like just yeah, the like, whole fucking time. Like, yeah, it kind of felt like he was talking in like the wrong city, but he had enough of the city in him. Mm, you know, like it, yeah. this guy didn't sound like necessarily he like was from Brooklyn, but it was it was still enough for me. So I gotta say, my mm. least favorite, despite loving it, and him actually being one of my favorite characters in the entire film. Oh. Was DK was actually yeah. Rogan because Rogan was just voicing Rogan in that shit. Your father was right. <laughs> your father was right. <laughs> your, fa your dad was right. <laughs> it's funny because he even said he was gonna like phone it in, which was like which he did, like, which yeah. he did. Yeah. But at least you know we he told us ahead of time. It's like hey, like. Yeah. At this least is what it is. Like, like, at least it wasn't the worst casting. No, I, no, no. it wasn't the worst. Yeah. It was my. It was probably my least like, favorite, though. I got. He was say. the least favorite. Mm. I mean, the only time he stood out is when he just fucking laughed, like Seth Rogen does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which everyone was okay with, still myself included, because I'm just like, oh, that's yeah. Rogen. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. If, if yeah, you cast uh, Seth Rogen in any movie, he's gonna do that laugh. I think it's in his contract. He has to laugh. Yeah, he's not exactly <laughs> the most prominent character actor in Hollywood. No offense no. to him. No, if you've no. seen most of his films, which yeah. I, I don't like most of his films. I think some of them are just, like, hilarious, but I think a lot of them are trash. And, I think uh, like, degenerate is... levels is what, is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, like, but, uh, whatever, that's not what it's we're like talking like a lot of talking. teen movie stuff. I mean, he was that in that teen one... Teen movie stuff and just shit that just glorifies the shit out of drugs without, like, remembering to tell jokes. You know what I mean? <laughs> there was like... this... He had one serious role where he was in that uh, Steve Jobs uh, biopic. He played Wozniak. <laughs> it was actually, like... <laughs> Acknowledge the Apple II. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought he was all right in that. At least as no, far no, as like, he's serious roles, he could, like, yeah, he's... he could play a serious role if he wanted to. But it's like, he's just always gonna be Seth Rogen. Like Jonah Hill like... is the same way. Jonah yeah. Hill just plays Jonah Hill for the most part. Jonah I mean, Hill is an like... Academy Award nominated actor. 
Yeah, but like, like he just like every time I see him act, it's just like ah, oh, it's, it's Jonah. I mean, like, it's just of, like, that's how I view it. Yeah, look, it's, it's about, the fat kid from Moneyball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah think, think about Adam Sandler. It's the same thing where he's just kind of like he acts. He can act. He just chooses not to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, low though, effort um, movies that make money. Yeah. What am I gonna do for the rest of my life? Do I really want to spend like eight my eight months on a project and putting in my all, or do I just do low tier shit and get paid anyways? <laughs> Which I mean, to be fair, he's winning that meta. If it's just money yeah. that he's in, like kind of just thinking about, he's he's winning it. But like, regardless, like yeah. no one's really gonna take Adam Sandler seriously. That's the thing. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure every girl, like woman he's fucked too is just like, yeah. Did you like click? <laughs> 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 He's like, he, there's nothing to brag about from his career, and he knows it too. It's like, I think it's just you like gems. longest yard. I'm gonna Did give you, like, you like, the longest yard. Oh boy, <laughs> yeah. like Shout uncut gems. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you'll see my uncut gems. That's <laughs> 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 no, yeah, that... What was uh, what was your least favorite? <sighs> yeah, what was your least favorite? Peter, uh, Griffin, Peter Griffin wasn't in the movie. <laughs> he made a cameo. He was in the crowd, bro. He was in the he was in the crowd. Yeah, didn't you, see? you just saw like the little millisecond of the frame of Peter Griffin in, in the crowd. Bro. <laughs> hey, yeah, what well, his, de his death? His death? Uh, the death um, pose. Yeah, he was this like is worse yeah, than the did. time I saw Donkey Kong get his ass kicked by an Italian. <laughs> yeah, he was in. The, yeah, he, Peter Griffin was the one in the crowd complaining that Adam Sandler was not in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> this movie sucks uh, yeah. without Adam Sandler. He would have been a great Diddy. <laughs> I, I don't really know if I have an actor in the movie that I didn't necessarily like. I mean, but on a list, like let's I say, said, bottom even five on a list, because like, like I liked Rogan, but he yeah. was my least favorite. Like it could even still be one you liked. Yeah. Uh just say cranky, so it could I, be so it could be three out of three. Out of, <laughs> three out of, three. <laughs> so you could just be Bandy, majority. Bandy, don't say, Bandy, don't say well, cranky. Like said, and just remember, shit on Danny. Stupid ass Bandy, opinion. Bandy, don't say cranky. Don't say cranky. Remember, 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 remember Randy. Remember Randy. Remember what I. Remember I won't. What I did. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> do not side with the Korea man um, in the top right corner. I do have to say, like, I, I do have to agree about it being Donkey Kong, and like, oh, right. oh, okay. again, like not Deadlocked. that not that it was a bad choice, not that uh, he was bad in the movie. It's just it was it was, it was just Rogan. Being it was just Rogan. Yeah, exactly. I think we could all yeah. agree with that. There it's was just, a little less voice Rogan acting Rogan. happening there. Yeah. is like what you're saying. Um, and I could say I've told this to David before, like. I noticed since the first trailer that and I'm speaking as in a, uh, a New Yorker with Italian descent myself. Chris mm. Pratt nailed the accent. Yo. It did not Ooh. sound like he was trying too hard. Yeah, it's yeah. Still <laughs> sound, he just sounded like himself with an accent, which is good. I've yeah. gone over a million yeah. times I liked sounding it. like yourself I liked it. was important. So we're but deadlocked. David. It's just the Kongs. Like we, we all disapprove of the Kongs. As our, Where was as Lanky Kong, bro? He, he Where was, was my bro? Uh, my bro, was Lanky, probably in the crowd somewhere. We just yeah, got they got really chunky that fat fuck, but then like they couldn't even bring my boy Lanky out <laughs> here. And and there's there's chunky. Chunky. My boy me, Lanky's dude. dirty, man. Are you telling me you don't remember that hardcore sex scene with Cranky Kong and Chunky Kong? That was in there, <laughs> bro. That's incest too, bro. Like the oh, bro, bro, yeah, bro, 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 bro. Oh, can I just He's mention dead. mention a few things with, about the movie? There's Chunky. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. The references yeah. in this movie was what? every five seconds was always yeah, every something. Five seconds. And I kept recognizing stuff every ten seconds. My favorite insane. one, though, I guess let's say I got favorite references here. My favorite, they brought the DK rap out when fucking Donkey Kong came out. My least favorite is that they didn't credit Grant Kirk. Nope, <laughs> that's true. That's I was right. just gonna yeah. say that. Yeah. I was just that's gonna right. fucking say that. They should have. I mean, Kirk Hope even said uh. on Twitter that he was not expecting to be credited, but he was still sad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And granted, Damn, it, yeah. they didn't because they, they didn't like re-edit the DK rap or anything. They used straight up the original DK rap, like yeah, they just yeah. copy pasted DK, it right the, into the movie. The DK Donkey Kong, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's but sad it was great is that, hearing like, it again, though. You yeah, know, it was. I was that, at the very least, like yeah. I it's do great hope, that, like at least in the DVD, like they do credit him because, like you know, everyone's saying it too. It's like, bro, like just put his name on the fucking. It's thing. also it's great that they acknowledge Donkey Kong sixty four even fucking exists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the other thing. <laughs> Considering that that game borderline killed a genre for a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. They, they uh, yeah. That's something I only like just noticed recently. Uh, I only just noticed that as no, of it really, it really recently. I saw people, I went from people praising DK64 to over the past year, people calling it one of the worst games on the platform. Because, oh. because there were coins in that game. 
that were not discovered until like three years ago. Yeah. I'm <laughs> not kidding. It's not it's not a good design. There was game. too much shit in that game. There was too much collectibles. I remember watching Donkey's video on it. It was hilarious. Like yeah. developers of this game, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. There is a is... slide race against a beetle, and you can punch the beetle before the race starts, so I did. But when I did, this happened. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's a good impression. <laughs> Thanks. It's like very talking under his breath. All right, so this last game, the Harry Potter game, has been told is problematic. So instead, we are playing Overwatch. <laughs> And it, I yeah, love that video. Love, that I, video is so good. I'm actually right, I had no idea completely. that the makers of Overwatch were doing fucking unspeakable acts. <laughs> so instead, we are playing the new Rick and Morty game. <laughs> <laughs> Controversy after controversy. Uh, after controversy. Goes and, that but video I, was fucking chef's kiss. I, I actually was, like bought the game and I'm playing it. And you know the first thing I said the moment I booted up, it's like, well, I guess I'm racist. <laughs> it's like, well, I guess I'm transphobe. I guess I just hate trans people. Now. There's trans like, characters in the fucking game too. That's the best. Exactly. Game. Yeah. I was just and like, oh. I remember getting it. I remember getting into a Discord call with my boyfriend when he was first playing the game and. He launches it, and the first thing he says is, Well, I don't hate you yet, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> he just, like, sits there after booting up for, like, five seconds. He's just testing if, like, am I a transphobe? <laughs> <laughs> you go and see on. Dennis just counting with his hands. <laughs> he just put his fingers up. Like literally, one. I saw that little loading screen going and like circling around, just kind of like, nope, don't feel nothing yet. I don't feel, feel the no spirit hatred. of Rowling. This, 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 this is coursing through me, <laughs> through my veins. <laughs> I want to see the Harry Potter musical now. <laughs> when, I, when I see those like upright, self entitled people on Twitter, all I can think about is. Okay, this might make no sense. Has have any of you heard of Xavier Renegade Angel? Can't say that I have. Nope. I, I don't know who that is. Oh. Do they have like five it's, followers? It's 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 a sur it's a weird surrealism show that was on Adult Swim. But uh, oh, when I think of these upright, pe uptight people, all I can think about is a scene in that show where the guy is masturbating at the thought of trying to help people and trying to make the world a better place. <laughs> mm. Mm, that that's hot. I like that. Oh, helping people. I, I can get. I can get over that. That's that's, that's, ama that's amazingly accurate. <laughs> but they're like in front of the mirror too as they're doing it. Yeah. You're like yeah. getting off on seeing I them think in the show he was, on, on the thought of helping people. I think yeah. in the show he was looking at his own reflection in a waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like fucking that Greek legend. Uh, like that Greek legend, the nar uh, nar Narcissus or whatever. Nar Narcissus. Narcissus. Or Narcissus. I'll, have send, I'll have to send a link. Uh, yeah, because like they it's, didn't. It's it's a weird show, but I love it. It's like feels like manufactured outrage, but like people go to them like, oh, where was that outrage for the Harry Potter musical? But granted, that was before Rowling was outed as a transphobe, pretty much before she was like pretty much confirmed to be a turf. Are, so, are you okay you, over you, there, Dennis? You, you good, bro? What, you, Dennis, are you, you dead? Need, do you, do you no, need a minute? I just, I just imagined like. Are you choking? You, like, imagine your roommate. You just like bust into their room. <laughs> And just catch them standing upright in front of them, <laughs> like just jerking off full naked. Oh, and I'm, just such, like, I'm such a good person. He, but you just hear him go like, "Oh, I love helping people." <laughs> and, and, and like, I'm just imagining you, you turned like, into Patrick Star when you yelled that for me. I'm just, I'm like, I'm just like wondering what the fuck would my reaction be to that? Like, just being like, I, I no, just I, when I just I probably just close the door and I probably would just <laughs> take my things and just walk out. I just move out immediately. I just well, tell see, him, I, like, yo, I'm leaving, man. Like, oh, you know, peace. He got to go. Yeah, it's like, and he's like, yo, where, where, where were you going? It's like, nah, man. I, I just saw some I, things that I shouldn't have seen, bro. And he's like, no. What? And then, see, my, my reaction to that, like, you know, like, I'd be leaving. They'd be like, where are you going? I'd just put my hand on their shoulder and go, like, I guess you can help people, but not like that. And just leave. Like, bro, man, I have, it's like, I have never uh, met someone who loved themselves that much. <laughs> Like, holy shit, man. Shit. He's got holy really, shit. really, really likes helping people. And himself. Yeah. Like, looking at himself. See, I just That's have a like the true form of narcissism right there. Yeah, and that and it, it and it reflects in the people who get mad about it. Because, like, I... It, it feel, you know, we've talked about this kind of shit a million times on the show. It's like manufactured outrage. And I feel that way because they literally... Some people made a tracker that keeps track of Twitch streamers who play that game. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I, I think that website got shut down. Yeah, yeah. because and it's rightfully so. Because yeah. how do you not realize that you are the bully at that point? Yeah, you're the problem. Yeah, I feel yeah. Like, yeah. How, like, how much of a fucking head ass do you have to be to recognize I'm, that like you are the one harassing people? How did it go from helping point? people is a problem. Like, <laughs> how is it that good things somehow became, became perverted in a way where it's just like you are an asshole? For wanting to help people. Yeah, do y'all buy fucking- I don't understand that. How do y'all buy fuck Disney that up? Shit? Like, the fucking lead actress for Mulan in that god-awful 2020 movie was a proud supporter and empathizer of the Chinese Communist Party. You watch Disney shit? Like, <laughs> yeah, like oh, I guess I must be evil. I yeah, hate I the evil. Uyghurs. I just don't like Uyghurs, <laughs> man. I fucking hate them. I guess that's just it. I, like, yeah, I oh, it's just- why did I think of I give props to people for not wanting to give their money to, like, people, like, if it's supporting somebody like that. I'd be like, I, yeah, go for it. Yeah, just you know, keep that to yourself, completely fine. But, like, you start judging other people for it, it's whatever. Like, Evan actually mentioned to me last night, what studio did you see in the credits that was actually a subsidiary of Disney? Oh, fucking Lucasfilms was in there. Oh, yeah, Films. Skywalker Sound, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Skywalker and, Sound, yeah. And, and while that does not mean Disney makes intellectual property no. money off this film, like, it's not, it was not made by their studios, they obviously do not in, own Mario, but, in like... In fact, they probably already got God. paid. They don't yeah. get paid from box office God. sales. Exactly, yeah. but, like, you know, it's globalization, big connected world, something connected, whatever. And business, Be, and business talks. Don't like, support you know? it? That's uh, great. You know, whatever. Yeah. But, like, again, you just judge yeah. other people for doing it and start tracking and doxing people and IPing people for doing that shit? How do you not realize you're the one doing worse shit? You know? That's, that's, that's some because, Gestapo shit, right? It's like, because you're insane. bent over backwards so much, you're up your own ass and then coming out your head again. Fucking like, you know, righteous. Because they way. think they think they're making the world a better place. Yeah, slacktivism. Helping people! <laughs> slacktivism, whatever. And you know? it's like, the world would just be an actual better place if everybody, like... I Shut very up. much firmly believe in the... Yeah, pretty much. I firmly believe in the ancient Chinese proverb and that actions speak louder than words. Mm -hmm. And yeah, not words don't mean problem. anything. The world <laughs> fucking runs. Yeah, exactly. Like the world problem. fucking runs. It's not. Is no, it a Japanese no. one? No. No. It no was one, a Chinese. I I, I could have sworn I, I was a no, Chinese. No, Confucius. Proverb. I will confirm for you. Confucius never said that. He never said that. Okay, yeah. then I was miseducated because I literally taught me that that was a Chinese. I said in that, David. You're quoting okay. me. <laughs> well, whatever. It, okay. okay. Then okay. whoever I said that. Then whoever said because it's a law of life. You know what I mean? Obviously, yeah. But the thing is. Like, you don't gotta be a, philosoph a philosopher to just, you know, to know that. Like, I think anyone really, it's like, you could have an opinion, right? But the moment you throw that opinion at anyone's face, you're a shithead. Yeah. Like, by, uh, by yeah. and large, yeah. like, you're just a shithead, like, by, like, just by default. Well, it's not that. I blame social media for it, right? Because social media is teaching well, us that words are more important than no, actions. No, because, like, because they, people can just say whatever they want though. and you're a good person. Well, blah, blah, blah. That's what I'm saying. Like, they have it's, a platform to say all this shit and there's no repercussions of saying it. Yeah, if we were able to give people shit, like, actual, like, tangible shit for saying the dumb crap that they shit. say online, they would not say the shit that they do. Yeah. Like, they would not. But yeah. there is no repercussion, so therefore, I will say whatever I want because I have no consequences coming my way. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever. Yeah. Oh, I'll get my- I'll delete my tweet. And then it's the end of it. There's like well, nothing- there's no yeah. real consequences for people saying the stuff that they say. Well, no. th like, then, then you fall into the trap of like, okay, then what is considered like the- like, uh, the baseline. You know, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Oh no, I'm not- like, uh, I'm just saying, yeah. I'm not saying that, oh, we gotta like police everything oh, that no, everyone says. Not, yeah. But it's just kind of like- you know, that's the world we live in, where you get yes. to say whatever the fuck you want, and there is no real consequences saying it, because what are they going to do? Say mean things on you? If you were getting cyberbullied, I got a tip for you. Just close the fucking computer. Like, we've all <laughs> learned it before in our lives. It's like, you know, there's really no real consequences saying anything online. Yeah, like, canceling cancel like, doesn't really even work. It doesn't do anything! Unless, unless it's the layman. Unless it's the layman, canceling does absolutely nothing. Yeah, people cry. You can't like cancel somebody too. who doesn't give a shit. Even the yeah. critics of this movie. That shit is up there forever. Like, in, in perpetuity. All the stuff that we've seen from Rotten Tomatoes and even Metacritic. All, like, the stupid, like, 500 characters or less reviews that people have made for this movie. And it's just like... <laughs> All like, you know, this is like real snobby ass art film bullshit that they're all like saying. It's like, oh, it wasn't noir enough. Oh, I didn't. I, there wasn't I, a sex scene between Luigi and Bowser, so I didn't really like the movie. Yo, and Mario did not kill anyone. 
<laughs> Zero out of ten, bro. Yo, where was Ma why didn't Mario genocide the Koopas, man? It's two out of ten. I can't. No, this is a terrible movie. Like I, I, I've said this on it's Twitter. The Mario the people have said. Oh my god. I said this on Twitter. The Mario movie was fun, and that's all it needed to be. Yeah, those great, film man. critics. Oh, yeah. Those film critics are gonna keep doing that. Even the one who like is notorious, like that um that blonde sure. lady who who notoriously oh. writes like contrarian reviews for attention. She's gonna keep doing it despite everybody fucking dogpiling on her on Twitter. I have the one that said that because Twitter is not a real fucking place, and that was a time when I agreed with Twitter on something. Yeah, you know I what have, I mean. Yeah. I have some choice yeah. words for these critics, as I as I wrote before uh, for David. Uh, I'm gonna write. I'm gonna say it in the most uh, derisive way possible. Derisive critics what a word. are stupid. They should get a life. They probably were never held as a child. Mm, what they else? They suffer from a loveless life. And have no joy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Continue. And that was it. <laughs> no, 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 no. You read it to me before the episode started. There was more. Oh, no, that, that was like stuff I ad libbed. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, it was uh, like, it got to the point where I'm just like, it went from like, and I have no joy, and they should all die. Yeah, like, that no, literally no, just no, escalated no. from like zero to 100. But like, yeah. I'm it was, sure you're like, all. Like, I don't, like, you know, it's I'm just, sure. It's, yeah. Like, like, I'm sure you're all aware of like the fucking. Early reviews of the Mario film before it came out. It had like 46% on Rotten were, Tomato, like, bumping up to 56. To <laughs> they were real fun to read because we all knew that they were going to be bullshit. We all knew this movie was going to take off, and we all knew that we were going to love it. Not because we are all simpletons who just take out whatever shit a company like Marvel will throw at us, despite being terrible and pandering. It's because when we want to be, we don't. It's not even a matter of like us not wanting to be pandered to. We want to be pandered to correctly, and yeah. that is exactly what the <laughs> Mario movie did. And that's also, what these film are the critics, same types. Of Yep, go. Yeah, no, that's just what yeah. film critics don't understand. You yeah. know, film critics can, like, learn all types, all different types of stuff that they do in, like, their art schools or whatever. I've taken film, like, pretentious-ass film classes in college, and I fucking hated them. <laughs> but, like, they learn from these people, and they think there's only one thing that makes a movie, like, objectively good. It has to fit, like, a certain criteria, this and that, to be considered, like, this good a movie. A great film. Or, or, a, or even a great yeah. film, necessarily. And while we don't want to be throwing out <laughs> 10 out of 10s too often, because then fucking it'll get, like... It'll lose its meaning. It loses like, meaning, yeah, yeah. It'll lose its yeah. meaning like every word on Twitter does, like uh, parasocial relationships and uh, cancel culture. Uh, it gets to that point, right? Because like now these film critics, it's funny enough that this is supposed to be their job. They haven't adapted or grown with the way the modern movie landscape has changed as Hollywood has adapted over the years. Back in the mm -hmm. day, like movies were way more like thespian style. They were like plays on a screen. Yeah, like, they think uh, it's the Citizen Kane. The actors like, projected when they spoke. Everything was so utterly dramatic, you fucking bitch, you slapped my woman! And it was like way like more thespian-like style projecting yeah, yeah. like you would if you're- Melodrama as well. Melodramas like, well, if you're seeing it in yeah. a theater. Literally to the point where movies had intermissions. You left the theater mm -hmm. and came back in, even though there were not Yo, actors who were getting ready to go back crazy. on the stage. Godfather 2 had an intermission too, and I ever, exactly. ever forgets that. And as a fucking Holy result shit. of that, Film critics have not adapted enough over the years because they see a movie like Mario that's supposed to be simple, fun, pandering, or whatever, and because it's not something else, they get mad. These are the same people who sit in their kitchens, look at an apple, stare at it on their counter, and, and scream at it for 45 minutes that it's not an orange. <laughs> <laughs> and also go like, but, or, like, you know, it's an apple. Why aren't you an apple pie yet? You know? <laughs> These are also the same why people that better? gave cuties a 90-something percent, thank so yeah, why take that seriously? Thank you for reminding yep. me of that. Thank you for reminding me of that. That, I feel like there's... I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but that's the kind of shit that makes me if, feel like... And I have one thing, last thing to say, too. If you went into this movie expecting Citizen Kane, you're a fucking retard. I'm sorry <laughs> to say, you are fucking stupid, man. You are the dumbest person alive okay. on the world. I actually the world. have... I think the same. I wonder if you're like, thinking it was gonna be like Godfather. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yo, I, it, has, it's, it stars Italian. Where's Fredo? I, mean, it's it's Fredo. I don't see no Fredo. I mean, Luigi's basically Fredo, but he would never betray Mario. We know no. Luigi ain't like that. No, no, Fredo would not have lifted the fucking grate in front of fire in front of his brother <laughs> at the end of that movie. He would have yeah. grabbed Peach and like, like went to go find Daisy and bang fucking cocktail waitresses right, through at a time. Do it at time. Do it at time. Do it at time. There, there's. There's one line in the movie, it's all unrelated by the way, one line mm. in the movie that just sticks to my head because of how perfect the delivery was. And weirdly enough, it was near the beginning when Mario and Luigi are having dinner with their family. <laughs> Yo, thank you, Yo, thank you, because we started, so we started talking uncle, about something. When their uncle is 
saying something snarky, he gets griped at, and he lets out the most perfect, Hey, what I do? Hey, what I do? <laughs> Dude, yeah. Me and David Dude. were burst out laughing when that happened. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. were just giggling in the corner so of the authentic. theater like idiots, bro. It was <laughs> I so love that line. I wanted to say that, but um, we started talking about um, Harry Potter, uh, the cancel yeah, culture right. Harry Potter, whatever. I wanted to what say that when you were talking about how good Chris Pratt's Italian accent was, because holy fucking fuck, his family. Holy <laughs> shit. I wish we saw more of his fucking family. No, oh my just, god. The whole, the whole the shit with like... perfect Italian family stereotype. Yeah, the I whole... The whole reaction when she when she slapped him. Hey, what I say? What I do? What I do? <laughs> that was uh, uh one of them was John DiMaggio. Yeah, actually. Oh, was, really? Yeah, yeah he oh, was one shit. of he was huh. one of the uncles, and another one was another famous one. Uh, Scott Menville actually was another yeah. one who uh, plays. The uh, dad was funny. That it was the uh, dad was Martin A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah dad yeah, was yeah. Martin A, and I was like, that's kind of funny. I like that. Yeah, and it goes <laughs> and it goes to show Martin A's range a little bit because everybody always thinks of him as Mario now. And for what? Like, what? He was what? a, he was a good, he was a great film actor before he pretty much never had to do any other roles in his life. <laughs> after that, yeah, it's like oh, what yeah. bigger role is there than Mario? Like, I yeah. had the biggest shit eating grin. When Charles Martinet put on his Mario voice for a Jumpman lookalike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That dude yeah. at the beginning. That was yeah. very nice. Yeah, that was, that was very, a very nice. deep. That was a deep cut, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. That, that's, that was the thing for the hardcore fans to laugh at. Yeah. And beyond the scope of things I was right about this film, we all already knew. Like, I told Dennis this, uh, like, a year ago when we talked about uh, Sebastian Maniscalco being casted yeah. as Spike, when nobody knew who Spike was. I'm like, he's literally just gonna be the guy at the beginning who tells Mario, you're fucking you ain't shit. nothing. <laughs> you ain't fucking nothing. shit. You ain't gonna do anything, you fucking tiny Italian cuck. You ever think literally you the first get 10 a minutes. fucking princess to like you? Not even the first 10 minutes. The first minute, oh, yeah. he was, oh, yeah, yeah, he was yeah, already yeah. saying that. Right after the commercial. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, true, yeah. Right yeah. after the, uh, uh, the commercial the super show. Which, I uh, to tell you too, my if you're, um, Spike is actually right. not, yeah, yeah, Spike is actually, um, if you guys, I don't know how big of Mario fans, uh, the two of you are, are gracious guests in the podcast, uh, Foreman Spike is not a character that they made up for the film. Yeah, he, I don't think so, yeah, mm. no. he was actually a he, character He was in Wrecking existed. Crew, wasn't he? Yes, yes, you both, yeah, you both, yeah, know, yeah, you yeah. both know, all right, all right, I won't mansplain Mario to you guys no more. Okay? <laughs> like, no one knows that shit, and so I have to fucking tell him, all right, I'm sorry. Well, because, yeah, like. I reckon. Like, I, I heard the name Spike. I was like, that sounds like Wrecking Crew, but I don't. I wasn't sure. So yes. like, you know, mm. like, yeah, it's from Wrecking Crew. <laughs> <sighs> Actually, yeah. I had a thing I wanted to talk about, which is the whole like. Um, this has somewhat to do with Mario movie, but not really. You yeah. know how people always say like, "Oh, it's a kids movie. It's not really anything create like crazy, right?" As yeah. in like, you shouldn't judge it so hard. It's a kids movie, and I, you know. I can point to the Mario movie and say, yeah, you can say that about this. And then I point to Puss in Boots and like, but can you say that about that? Yeah. Like, yeah. like really? Mm -hmm. Like, really? Like, you know, like, I feel like that whole blanket statement of like, oh, it's a kid's movie. Don't judge it too hard. I'm like, that's bullshit. Because we've gotten thing. so many good kid's movies it that being aren't just kid's movies. Kid's media is not an excuse for it for bad To being writing. a shit story. For yeah. example, Sonic 2. As much <laughs> or, as I love, as much as I loved that movie... That shit there were was... there were points in the script that were terrible. Like the wedding scene yeah, going awful. on for twenty more minutes was one of the was worst so decisions awful. I've ever seen in any script I've ever seen in my life, and I'm not even exaggerating. As soon no, as Sonic goes through the rings and teleports, that's the joke. He ruined the wedding. Cut. The fact that they like they planned this fake wedding with these side characters to capture Sonic or whatever. Oh. Why didn't they just fucking go to his house? I, yeah, I, I like, there was understand. no <laughs> excuse for them to do it that complicated besides these side characters need more screen time even though they're not who they paid to see so I completely agree with you Evan it's a blanket statement it being children's media is no excuse for bad writing again Puss in Boots being the anomaly to like or like the sort of exception that proves to rule the film critics what I'm talking about because if you look at Rotten Tomatoes the critic score like for the critic score for Puss in Boots The Last Wish it's higher than the audience score. And the yeah. audience score was 95%. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Shit. That is how fucking good that fucking movie was. It was literally one of the best, mm. most well-written movies I've ever seen in my life. Kids went into that movie because they're like, ha ha, you funny cat. Colors. Yo, you funny and then cat. Adults, adults came out of it thinking like, Fuck! Like, <laughs> that was like, that was amazing. That was pretty good. Adults Fuck, went out of that movie having a. <laughs> adults came out of that movie having a fucking existential crisis. That's yeah, what like, happened. For sure. Damn. Yeah, I did for sure. I was like, yeah, dude. Like Fuck. Go going on that, going back to that blanket statement too. It's like the ultimate like example that I always have when it comes to like kid shows. Like you know, even have no excuse to like have bad writing. Yeah. Avatar: The Last Airbender. Oh my god! Shit is, that, is that, a show that is shit... made for kids. Literally about genocide and war. So, so like, what I have to say <laughs> about the world is another one. What I have to say about the whole kids movie blanket what? statement yep. is, y yes, it doesn't excuse bad writing, but 
It's not that it's a kids movie. It's that it's accessible. That doesn't mean it's a kids movie. You know what I mean? But that's and the it thing. also doesn't like, mean it's bad. It doesn't mean it's th- bad either. Yeah. A lot of times, like stuff meant for kids is actually meant to be enjoyed by all audiences. Yeah, like so a lot of people perfect, f- seem to forget that. Like, perfect I mean, example of not all everything, that, but a lot of it. Like, perfect you know? example of all that. Mario is geared towards kids, but it's an accessible movie. All the shit we're talking about, like the references and stuff, you don't have to know any of that to enjoy the movie. You know Mario. You know? Like by default, you, you know by who default he is. you know Mario. Yeah. Yes, and let's say by some godforsaken miracle, you somehow don't know who Mario is. Like you've lived under a rock in in an oil rig offshore somehow and have no internet. And you see this movie. I don't know how you're seeing the movie. Anyway, you see. I would movie, imagine I, that they don't have internet if they live in a rock. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> no, but anyway, so like somehow you've no have no idea who Mario is. You still watch this movie. You'll still have a good time. You don't have yeah. to know who the fuck anything anyone in this movie is. You know, like. But you'll still enjoy one it. Though. Thing, thing I like, kind yeah. of agreed with the critics about is that there it's it's a video game movie. It's very referential. But yeah. I don't. I agree with you, Evan, in that it's not so much so to the point where you're not going to enjoy the it's movie. It's all background shit. Not only for the mm-hmm. fact that it's the most visually pleasing animated movie I've ever seen. It was unintrusive too. Those references, yeah. mm-hmm. a lot of times. Like, unintrusive. Just, those references, completely mm-hmm. harmless. Uh, they spent six years on the movie, so it's literally it looks so much better than Illumination's other films. And also, a, lot of, a lot of those references are said. like even in the in the animation, like blink it, you'll miss it, kind of things. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's a very fast-paced movie too, which was another critic critic of it. Is that the uh, critique of it? Is that there's a lot of scenes like the scene with Mario and DK. I loved their rivalry; it was good. Then, but then when they're inside the eel, I thought, oh, this is gonna be good. It's an actual like heartfelt like heart to heart about how they both like are afraid of being like judged like by their fathers. You know what I mean? Like we're like we both like live with like our fathers like not fully accepting us or judging what we do. We got that for like do. ten seconds. We and exactly. Then your father's right. And instead of DK <laughs> being like, yeah, my father's rough on me too, he's just like, your dad was right. Like, <laughs> like they just kept it going and yes you can complain about that but it still kept an hour and a half and I would so much 10 out of 10 9 times out of 10 I'd rather a movie be too fast paced than, than too, too slow. slow but too I'm slow sorry. and bad and too like, slow and yeah, bad yeah. like Scorsese films great whatever The Irishman is 3 and a half hours I still haven't seen it and I don't care you know, to. But you know the thing is, though, like, a lot of That's times... That's why I didn't care for Avatar. When a <laughs> yeah, movie, same. I didn't see Avatar God. either. Like, because it's, like, fucking three and a half hours. When a movie Avatar. is, let's say, around that length... Because, like, Lord of the Rings is three hours and a half. I'll it watch Return like of the it. King. Yeah, I'll yeah, watch Return of the King like many times. of that like, shit is absurd. There's so much no, no, no. to cover in but that. That's, uh, that's but that's what I mean, though. Like, when it comes to, like, at least what you're trying to put on screen, right? I mean, for at least, like, movies like Godfather 2. I watch Godfather 2 every fucking year. Every three months I watch it. And, like, I am not bored one bit. So it's like, as long as at least you could keep that timelessness, it's like, then obviously, yeah, you're doing something right. But if you somehow get and make a movie that is two hours and a half, and you make it... You remember that gif where that guy's just like this, and he just lifts up that gun to his fucking head? Like, if that's that's how you feel, like, an hour in, then clearly... Oh, my God. This movie ain't made right. If you want a slow movie, if you want a... So, yeah. a slow, bad movie was Avatar. I watched that movie only because I, I'm a tech guy. I like all the tech shit that they were doing. Mm. Basically, when I watched that movie, I forgot I was watching an anime, like a CG movie, mm. right? Wait, wait, Avatar or Avatar The Way of Water? The Way of Water. That's what I'm talking the about. Way of, uh, the Way of Water. Okay. So, The Way of Water, I watched that. I'm like, I'm sitting there. Two hours in. I thought it had been three. Like, is anything going to happen yet? <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? Like, is anything going to happen yet? A lot of We're, it was just wide shots of, like, no, just the all in the environments. So no, it was, like, all so lots like, of the, like, two environmental hours in, shots. I swear to God, the two things I remember two hours in was they learned how to swim, and they learned how to swim with creatures. <laughs> That's all I remember in two hours, and I was like, what is Yo, happening? The first hour was <laughs> just them, like, going to swim class. We yeah. got to teach you how to swim. We're going to teach you how and to swim. And it's going to take an hour and a half. <laughs> Why? Because this movie needs to be long because James Cameron's a fucking and psychopath. And then the last, the last... All the best swimmers get the most blue suit. <laughs> and then the yes, last... Hour, a slow movie. The last hour was like, like okay, okay, it's an action scene. Oh no, it's still, it's still, it's still going. <laughs> <laughs> righteous. So self-righteous. Uh, Bandy, what's mm-hmm. another, what's that long movie you were talking um, about? If you want a slow movie, it's not long. It's like an hour and 15 minutes long. <laughs> oh, but if you want a slow movie, Daft Punk's Electroma. Oh, yeah. That's a, a slow movie. movie. That's a slow movie. A movie, movie with single shots that can last for minutes with absolutely <laughs> no audio. 
<laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. This I, is like the and artsy and film. You want to no watch? Like, you want to watch a shot of of the robots driving a car <laughs> with the same camera angle for ten minutes straight? <laughs> with wait, 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 hold up! With no audio, almost no music. It's like a silent film kind and, of thing. And it's a it's, movie. It's, punk it's an avant-garde silent. There's film. no oh. audio in those long sequential shots, and it's a movie By, about a band. David, By, David about about David, about I, the robot characters, Daft Punk. Like, like I said. <laughs> yeah, I mean, heck, the ending of the movie. Okay, takes we'll like 10 all four, all four of us right now. All four of us right now. Suicide Pact. The ending of the everybody movie takes down? like ten everybody, minutes everybody to happen. We're, we're going <laughs> down the bridge. And they hold up too. And I, I gotta, so hold up. Let me go to share screen. I have to play Blaze of Glory. <laughs> we're gonna go out. We're the ending of that movie takes like ten minutes to happen, and all that happens is they blow themselves up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it takes ten minutes for that. It's amazing and terrible all at the same time. Like, oh, one of the yeah. robots, like, decides he's had enough, turns his back, the other guy flips a switch on his back, and walks away as a minute-long timer counts down in <laughs> real time. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but you don't understand. It's supposed to symbolize, you know, our inevitable... I don't care! Take, speed up the minute! <laughs> take up... Take your avant-garde film And then the bullshit. explosion is in And slow shove motion it up your ass. <laughs> we'll say the same thing. We literally had a professional comedian, actress, and screenwriter in this show once, and I told her... Because she was a teacher of mine. I literally fucking told her in college, they literally once showed me a slideshow of a moth. <laughs> that was the Flapping. film. It was a slideshow of a moth. Flapping or just a and moth? And we had to talk about the fucking slideshow of the moth. <laughs> I had to take a fucking quiz on the slideshow of the moth. Quiz! Where was this, po where was this position at frame two? <laughs> <laughs> or, or, God, know, the gets... fact that fucking film critics get paid, bro. There's people who like, yo, I work for IGN, and they go to work in the morning, and their work is from there, their fucking beds, to here. And they sit no, down. No, no, no. They would just be lying down on down their down bed. And they do on their this. Phones. Or they, they would do this. On their phones, like looking up like this. And then as, they're, it says, as they're typing like, it out. Any job that. where you can have porn in another tab is not a real job. <laughs> <laughs> okay? <laughs> well, damn, David, I guess I don't have a real job then. Yeah, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Even Doug Walker, the nostalgia critic, thought the Mario movie was fun. Bro, I'm saying he's, something. He's, he's, Yo, he's I like, actually have to watch that because he just dropped his video on Puss in Boots. Actually, I gotta yeah. watch that. Mm. I don't even yeah, and I'm not even like a fan of his. I just want to watch no. it because I love that fucking movie. He no, praised he, that movie. Mm. It was, it he was, praised it was that good. movie. But like the, the sure fact that even he was like doing the stupid snob, like terrible accent where he's like oh yes this movie was not like you know fucking martin scorsese and he's and he just takes off his glasses and goes, it's fucking fine i don't know what this the fuck is talking what about. i'm yeah. talking yeah. about we tr <laughs> we are millennials and gen zers we trust youtubers more than reviewers now mm -hmm. it's yes. just the way it is <laughs> shit changes saturday night live no one in our generation likes it anymore whether it's because it's politically driven or just because it's not it's fucking bad. funny no. it's just like we just yeah. sketch comedy does not appeal to our generation we have short form attention spans of fucking squirrels it's different nowadays you know what i as mean as evidenced by my tiktok account exactly <laughs> I, I did not expect you to have a tiktok <laughs> I remember, I remember watching the uh, the freaking substitute teacher skit from Key and Peele, and all I could think was, like, is this supposed to be funny? <laughs> there it's was, not funny. There was I will one... say, I think Key and Peele can be the exception that proves the rule. But like, I don't know. Like, there was some, one but not, that, uh... all, not all their sketches hit. I agree. Like, they're yeah, not all fucking I mean, funny. Yeah, yeah. There was one that um, James Gandolfini was actually in. And he was fucking great in that, actually. Well, here's the thing. SNL's digital sketches are different. Ooh, because they take yeah. time to film those. Like, they write those They're not just doing it. Oh, yeah, okay. Like, there. it's not just oh, like... It's not oh, ad -lib it's not like, like oh, No, 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 no. It's not like, oh, we have a week to film this or whatever. We have a week yeah. to do this. Like, their digital oh, okay, sketches yeah. are funny. And they've actually always been funny, for the most part. Mm. I think, uh... Not always funny, but, like, they've always like, been funnier than the live... The live show is different. Two out of five times. Like, you're really gonna sit here and plop Christopher Walken in front of, like, a cue card and have him, like, side-eye in the other direction. And I'm supposed to laugh like oh my god when elon musk was on that shit dude oh, Jesus oh that was Christ. so oh. that was so hard to watch i actually turned like it just because it's a seconds. celebrity that doesn't mean we like it that's yeah. not how it fucking works I, like i ugh. did like it when bill burr was on though bill, well, that, that, bill that burr is funny, funny. Yeah, that's, funny. Funny. that's like why his, their <laughs> monologue of where he was trashing white women yeah, I've never great. seen like such reaction like come out of something like out of SNL in my life. Like most people when they heard SNL, it's just like, haha, funny sketch show. Sometimes and then when Bill Burr was on it, I have never seen such a like a fucking 
rabid Twitter response about like all the comments that he had on white women from that one month. I remember. It's because he, he didn't say what he was supposed to say on SNL. Yeah, because he's Bill Burr. He's not stupid. Yeah. <laughs> there anyway. is one SNL sketch that I ever actually laughed at. And that is admittedly because I am immature. And it's about a, I guess, from what I remember, it's about a war hero named Colonel Angus. What? Okay. Okay. Oh, that, oh, that's it. That's all you remember. That, that was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. I thought it was, <laughs> was Colonel Angus. I thought you were about to say... Laugh. It was just, I know the name. I thought you were about <laughs> to say, like, uh, Van Down the River, that Chris, that old Chris His name Ford was sketch. Colonel Angus, and they, like, the whole skit, they were making, like, jokes about how that sounds. SNL was funnier <laughs> when they let their actors do coke in the dressing rooms. <laughs> yeah, okay. They don't let them do that no more. They just David, smoke weed was... now, and so they're mellow wait, and like bored. We're getting sidetracked. Let's yeah, go back I was to the Mario I was actually movie. just about to say like let's get let's go back to back freaking to Bing Bing Wahoo. Let's go, I let's go to the loved, thing that made us happy. I loved that they gave Peach lore. They gave Peach yeah, like, lore. Mm. I did not think they were gonna do that, and then they did. And then the best part about her lore is. We still don't know anything about her. <laughs> yeah, like, that was one guess of mine, is that, like, oh, like, Peach and Mario are gonna bond in this movie because she's never, she hasn't seen a human in, like, God knows how long I in think, her yeah. whole life. And that's, that's the first fucking oh, thing yeah. she says to him. She's like, Straight up, she's never like, oh my god, you're a human. Like, oh my just god. Like you're so short. <laughs> just What's it like, like in your world? <laughs> and it also confirms that Peach is, like, from his world. Basically, well, we just I don't mean, know. I, which I would hope so. I would hope so. Yeah, <laughs> I was telling Dennis before the call. Like as soon as like she got out of the pipe, like oh my god, she does not have a fun guy on her head. <laughs> <laughs> we shall raise her, and then one day when she is of age, she will make her our queen, <laughs> and we will uh, have a blood sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. <laughs> the toads are just the like tribal. Begin! <laughs> Literally, like, the toads were like tribal before she came. And then she like yeah, actually no. civilized I them. Just, I just imagine them as like, like cavemen. Yeah, she's like, a like, eater! Like, I want from, a eater! <laughs> they live, went from living in huts to like actual making like fucking metropolises. Well, uh, like in the well, middle okay. of nowhere. David, you doing that voice makes me think they were saying that before they met her, and then as the as the movie came around, they just slowly. Now, Scott! <laughs> yeah, they they slowly started sounding like normal people. <laughs> they she, like yeah. taught them like. You don't have to talk like that. <laughs> like she taught them fucking phonetics and like linguistics. <laughs> yeah, like she brought them like proper grammar and shit. Even though she was like an infant child when she came to them. <laughs> like the blue toad who was the fucking chancellor. Oh my god, his voice was bassier was... than mine. He, he <laughs> sounded, oh like, yeah, yeah. He sounded like Idris Elba. If like Idris Elba was like a councilman. <laughs> like he sounded like Meat Canyon. Do you yield? Do you yield? <laughs> I do. Why did they bring Toadsworth? <laughs> I oh, see. That's what I was wondering. Like, where's Toadsworth? Yeah, I, just, I don't. Like, they I just like, like doing nothing with him anymore. It's sad. I know. It was the perfect opportunity to use him. I think him. the only time I've ever seen him any any games is just the fucking Mario RPGs. I think that's the. Mm. And that was the last time he's been in a game. Yeah. Or like the, uh, like the Mario baseball. No, there was no. No, he was Mario he, RPGs when he first that. appeared. I think he was in Sunshine. Yeah, but was that was, the, I think, yes. the, one of the few times where he was actually voiced. Because a lot of the other times, yeah, he you just like, hear him go like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just hear him go like, oh, English gentlemen, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, boys, don't touch that stuff. No, no, boys. No, no, boys, don't touch that stuff. Uh, yeah, I no, boys. Nah. Yeah, but I love that they gave a little bit of that to Peach. And like, like Dennis mentioned before, like the babies... As well, which he mentioned to me oh, before the call yeah. it was real nice. I was yeah, like, oh, oh, I love yes. Peach yeah. was low key one of my favorite characters, especially considering that Anya Taylor Joy did a flawless American accent the entire time. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like you, she's, you know, she, she's you know what my favorite like, character was? Who? The Luma who was fucking like just depressing. <laughs> <as hell. laughs> yes. Life There's is no nothing but an illusion. <laughs> There's no only thing way that will help out. us is. That is the sweet release of death. The only bliss <laughs> oh, come on. is shutting of the eyes. <laughs> I think my favorite thing is it was like, played it by was an actual dark. child. Like, he started cheering when they were lowering <laughs> no. the fucking crate into the lava. Like, they oh, no, like, like Even ah, for the Mario released. movie, that got a little <laughs> dark. No, he was like, finally. And then as they're raising him up, he goes, <laughs> Boo. <laughs> yeah. Boo. That was an actual child, by the way, yeah. voicing that yeah. character. It was uh, so funny. Yeah, very, so South, very South Park-esque. <laughs> Yeah, Can you yeah. imagine that vocal coach? He like goes to his booth, he's like, and the kid's like, "I don't want to read this." He's <laughs> <laughs> like, "No, no, Timmy, you gotta read it." Timmy, you gotta read it. Your parents need to be paid. Five dollars. Five dollars. 
We'll give you we'll give you some goldfish crackers. You like goldfish crackers? <laughs> oh my you, god! You like a little juice box? Huh? I rem- juice box? It must have been hard for that kid to not I talk about it at school. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> this has nothing to do with Mario, by the way. That's I was true. laughing so hard at like a trailer that played before the movie started because all he- David looks at me and just starts going. I think those are ducks, Jimbo. <laughs> <laughs> yes! For the, just, the Illumination Mallard uh, movie. Whatever. I was yeah, like, Mallard. Q is just like, if you watch that trailer, you'd be like, Oh, oh, <laughs> Jimbo. oh, oh Jimbo. me, oh my, how about some pie? <laughs> uh, Jimbo, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> he, would do, right back. He, he wouldn't have even been able to make it to the bathroom. He would have been the theater was empty, he just, pants, dude. If, if, if it was in the theater and if it was empty, he would have just gone to like the t- corner at the top of the stairs. He's like, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> no, reach into the popcorn, Jimbo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really like the new Pokemon game, Jimbo. Now, one of them's a duck. <laughs> <laughs> God, you are too good at that voice. Like, uh, it was so funny because he looked at me and just said, I think those are mallards. <laughs> I don't know what kind of duck that is. I actually got a belly laugh out of somebody in the theater after the movie. Because I was I was talking to uh, one of my friends mm-hmm. and s- something came out of my mouth along the lines of, I like the part where Luigi said, wow! <laughs> got okay. a belly laugh out of someone in the theater <laughs> I like the part where uh, Luigi went I, I, <laughs> that whole long winded that whole long winded like I don't know anybody who looks like me who's wearing a hat who has his name on it who's red <laughs> and Bowser's just holding his mustache <laughs> and he's just speaking really fast <laughs> do princesses find him attractive oh. only if they have good taste <laughs> Luigi I think, I think out here repping his brother yeah he didn't sell him out even day. with this fucking giant demonic turtle like grabbing him by the mustache <laughs> like with claws he didn't sell him out well I mean he did because he fucking revealed that he knew who he was but he says like he's still attractive to princesses yeah. I, I also I, like I that think, Bowser was just uh, simple Thing. Just full yeah. on simping. It was Dude, amazing. the theater laughed the hardest when he was practicing his proposal to Kamek. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when he stomps on the like when the plants just start biting and he just <laughs> turns around, he just stomps on it. He always had Something like about that. love. Barely makes a guy come out of his shell. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that line wouldn't work. It's like you're I love doing that. I love great. That. I love that. Basically, being the B pod, Bowser's an incel, an in shell, whatever. In <laughs> shell. <laughs> well, that was the worst dad joke that I tell. <laughs> oh, I, I I know a lot of bad dad jokes. I love dad jokes. Since we're uh, since we're getting, I guess, uh, close to the end. Like, what are some things that uh, I guess we've all seen the post credit scene? Oh yeah. So, what are some things we are excited for that's movie gonna that's be not mailing. gonna come out for six years? <laughs> I got the post credit scene wrong twice, and obviously this is spoilers. We spoiled the whole movie at this point. Talking, but about bro, if oh, you yeah, have not spoiler watched warning, it, by the way. Yeah, clearly. If I mean, you have not watched it, an hour into the podcast, spoiler warning. Spoiler warning. By the way, sorry, not sorry. If you, I thought it was gonna be, I thought it was gonna be Rosa. Oh yeah. And oh, then, right. you did say that, yeah. Then we were in a dark, dank sewer for the post credit scene, <laughs> mm-hmm. and I was like, Wario? <laughs> He's just living in the sewer? <laughs> it's Wario. I mean, where else? He looks like he would. He's like a But would, why yeah. would there be a Yoshi? Well, I mean, oh, wait a minute, because everything got shot into Brooklyn. Everything got shot into Brooklyn. Yeah, it's yeah. the Super end of the movie. Super okay, Mario World. <laughs> oh. Imagine the sequel. Mario. Just imagine the sequel uh, takes place where. They're like they go to a world where it's the same, it's identical, but everything is like kind of flipped on its head. And Wario and Waluigi are their versions of Mario. Oh, it's like that multiverse. That. It's like where they are you? Yeah. It's like where are you? <laughs> where are you? Ma? You already know my hopes for the film, <laughs> and I'm actually very hopeful for it. Actually, Here's because a- of, like some of the maps that they use, like that big map, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. mm-hmm. castle, oh. the kingdom next to it. Next to the Mushroom Kingdom, like, in the head, you saw the Darklands, there was yeah, the Jungle yeah. Kingdom, there was another island to the south, which I think was, like, the Penguin Kingdom or whatever. Yeah, kingdom, yeah, yeah. I don't know if y'all noticed the kingdom next to it, they decided to include one particular one. Is it? I don't know if I there. noticed it. It was a desert. Directly oh. next to it. <laughs> in my head canon, that is Sarasaland. <laughs> and they're, hey, bring- the and they're bringing- kingdom? They're bringing my girl out! For the next movie. Oh. <laughs> I also, bring in my girl. Hey, I also what about the Bean Bean Kingdom? What happened to the Bean Bean 
Bean Kingdom, bro. <laughs> they all got called Bean Beaners and were told to fuck off. <laughs> I also just love how freaking Cranky Kong's house is the same as the one from the Donkey Kong Country show. Well, that was DK's yeah. house, I thought. Oh, was yeah. That, DK's house? yeah. That, like, barrel in the middle of, like, you yeah, know, the, the barrel town. in the middle of the town, yeah. yeah. Oh. Hey, you, you, know, you know what my favorite thing about this movie is? An illumination film without one fart joke in it. And it was still funny. <laughs> An illumination <laughs> movie that was good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they honestly, actually never had bathroom humor in this. Just that's never. gotta be, be gotta be because of Nintendo. Well, it has to be. Specifically yeah. be Miyamoto being Nintendo. a producer. Yeah. Like he was in that fucking room the whole time. He was look, like, he was, he was like, literally <laughs> looking through everybody's work. It's like, no, no, no see, take that shit out. No, we didn't no, put no see, fuck, they put fart in a fart somewhere. joke. No. They put in a fart joke, and then you just see the Nintendo assassins <laughs> behind you like what are you no. doing? Okay. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Put down take the that, mouse. Take that shit out. <laughs> the dry like, bones going take drama. That was the illumination joke. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And the I dry like bones getting and the Koopa getting. Yeah, I was about to say the Koopa getting fucking murdered by Bowser. And Those are immediately all... turning into a dry bones. That was the DreamWorks joke. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, it was completely fucked up, because it was just like, he just got burned alive. <laughs> I was just like, but shit. <laughs> shit you know bro. what's even the bigger curse, though? It's like, usually, flames kill you. He, but he these fuckers are kept alive. <laughs> that is some cruel shit now that I thought about it. I was just like, Unless you oh, throw you're them dead. in lava, yes. But you're not just... really dead, dead. Bowser like, And horrible. then, they can't die. And they because can't their die. body just gets put back together. That's a twisted fuck, any. Actually, I think a dry bones can die if you throw it into lava. That's what I was gonna say. Unless you throw oh, okay, the poop into yeah. lava, it's not gonna die right away. Yeah. <laughs> like you just take, you just... separate its head from its body, and then just throw the head in the water. Because that actually is how you kill them in the games. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Believe it or not. And when you can, if you're if Listen, you're near lava. Well, the only thing I can hope for, and I don't think it's, it'll, it'll ever happen, because Nintendo doesn't even want it to exist, is Paper Mario. Like, anything to do with Paper Mario. Mm. Like, like, or yeah. anything to do with the Mario RPGs. Nintendo doesn't want it. No, nah, never, that's never going to happen. I mean, because their yeah. base source is their IP. Like, way less people play the uh, RPG games as opposed mm. to, yep. you know, their base games. Even though, the even RPGs though, don't appeal to casuals as hard. Yep. But if even we get a reference, it, though, I'll be yeah, happy. if we get a reference. Of yeah. the seven stars, at least, I'll be like, you know what? You know what? We I'm weren't gonna, gonna get it. We we knew we were gonna get what we wanted, but at the very least, like we got this. So yeah, yeah, thank you, the mushrooms, mushrooms, Nintendo. The Mushroom Kingdom Library. You see the Paper Mario book. Yeah, you do. In the background, you do, you do see oh, the Paper Mario. Oh, yeah, that's very. Show, that, and there you, no, 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 no. That didn't happen. Wait, what? I said it's it's very. It, isn't it very? Uh... No, that's not a reference in the movie. Oh, really? oh, you're fucking fuck oh, you, no, 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 dude! I'm, no, 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 no! I'm saying that that's what oh. they're gonna do. Oh, that's like what in the oh, next yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because okay, that's that literally the case. Like, if you play fucking Paper Jam, that's what Paper Mario is. It's literally a storybook, like in the regular Mario in the, universe. In the regular Mario, you, you know, yeah. there's there is one thing from at least Paper Mario that if they did in a movie, I think they could probably do it pretty well. And it's essentially kind of like the plot line from Thousand Year Door, where <laughs> Peach turns into the villain. Yeah. It would actually kind of be not a bad progression for as far as like kind of like, you know, let's say where the story can go. Because at the very least, like this is very much like its own story, its own timeline. Yeah, it takes place in the Mario universe and such. But it's like, look, as far as like the story goes, like I think at because like, you know, we'd never seen Mario at least because we always thought like, oh, Mario was just living in the Mushroom Kingdom like all this time. But yeah. at least in this universe, like, he's actually, like, in our world, world. Or, like, he was born in our world. So, at the, at the very least, it's, like, that kind of leaves, I guess, a bit more avenues. Like, I, one of the, like, at least the things I joked in my head was, like, huh, what if in the sequel, Mario and Luigi and Peach go to New Jersey? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Why would they go to New Jersey? Know, that's what I mean, but it's just, like, that would be, like, a funny, like, stupid, like, you know, sequel idea that just thought in my head. It's, like, she's, Mario like... Mario and Luigi go to she's Brazil. Like, like she goes to Brooklyn, she sees everything about Brooklyn, and then she's like, and she looks what's at the that? map. Yeah, it's like what? What's uh? What's New Jersey? It's and like, oh no, we don't, we don't, over, we don't, yeah, we don't go there. We don't go there. We don't. We don't. What the hell is a get out of here? Actually, I'm, I'm gonna be real with y'all for a second. In the commercial, when they're driving the uh, like when they're putting the little toy car, like, <laughs> didn't the they go like, yeah. Did they avoid, it, like, the Bronx, like, It entirely? deliberately they, skipped they the, Bronx. the Bronx. <laughs> they, yeah. went, they went, like, and we're trying to save, and then they're going towards the Bronx, go, Queens, and they just move it over. <laughs> <laughs> like, they just straight up, like, no. No, we're not going we're not there. That. We're Fuck not that. that. But, you know, uh, even people from the Bronx don't like the Bronx. So it's, like, it's perfectly <laughs> no. fine to make fun of the Bronx. The first, the first year I did the Nintendo job, they, uh, they sent me there. <laughs> so I they did not, really I did not like it. I did not like it. <laughs> I did not like it. 
It was where I got COVID. (laughs) Was not a fan. Oh, you got poverty and COVID. (laughs) Yeah, it wasn't poverty. I had that Nintendo money at the time, so I'm fucking... No, but no, no, but you you felt that poverty. Down, this down, is some towns you go. New York is definitely better than the city. Like East, yeah. New, like East New York, you go there and you're just like, oh, this is uh, the air changed. Yeah, I there, feel the I feel the skybox change color. There's just of. some skybox. like there's just some <laughs> neighborhoods where you just feel the poverty, dude. It's just there, all around you. I don't know how else to put it. You just there, feel no, it in you. Grown ass exactly, men I used to the work theater. for Domino's. I know what that's like. Yeah. Grown ass men in the theater started throwing shit at each other like during the credits. Oh yeah, on I, on, in our theater. Yeah, when, that's when why me, I was when me and Evan saw it. Yeah, and like I, the only reason I was Bay looking Terrace. at them. Yeah, yeah, but unfortunately we couldn't do that because movie showings or whatever. But the like they're sold out. I was just looking at the riot because I'm like, are they actually fighting or are they just no like man children? In fact, they were oh they were just man children. Yeah. They were just throwing shit at each other. Yeah. Because one of them threw right. something at each other and went, yeah, get fucked. And it was, I'm like, okay, they're obviously the, you know, I had hey, to keep this. Hey. I had to keep this when I, <laughs> I, hey. use mine, I use mine as a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there'll be a styrene. I don't there. know. I don't know what I'm going to use mine for. Cards. Why don't, don't you, why don't you hit it, David? Hit your trash block. See what comes <laughs> out of it. No, oh, that hurts. <laughs> What you get? All right, all right, guys, that's gonna be the end of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he, he got a babam. He blew himself up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you've been seeing King Babam and the and King Boo. Dude, King Boo. I yeah, actually was like, oh, yeah. Luigi's Mansion. I got like, a goblin brain with Luigi's Mansion. My bank. Well, even like the first five minutes of when Luigi was in the Darklands, you saw like yeah. those dark woods. I was just like. <gasps> <laughs> like, wait, hold, hold, hold up, no, hold up now. I know what you're doing, Nintendo. Dennis, Dennis, it was literally the soy man face, like... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Luigi take shelter in a mansion before he was captured no, by the took, shy he guys? he took shelter in a, in a castle. Yeah, yeah. A, a decrepit castle. A castle, yeah. mansion, to mansion. Same, you know, same shit. Same thing. Same shit. Well, it's it's <laughs> manned by ghosts, so it'll become the same thing. Potato. I was expecting, like, a boo, at least. Like, to come what out of this? Yeah, it was funny. they had shy guys behind him. And stuff. Yeah. Well, what was funny, I know it was, like, um... It was more about the flashback towards, like, him looking at this castle and thinking about the sand castle. But all I could think about is, like, he's looking at that and going, like, I'm going to be back here eventually. And it, he's, like, <laughs> he's like, he doesn't, he doesn't know it, but the writers, they have plans for you. <laughs> They're going in there, buddy. <laughs> it was like a meta. Th- my brain was like, it, they obviously didn't think of that. But my brain was going, like, yeah, you're going back there. Yeah, you're going back there, <laughs> yeah. motherfucker. You're going back there. It's going to be a you're mansion. Going places, you're going to get Luigi. Professor e. Gad, who's going to be voiced by, I don't know who the fuck they're going to get. <laughs> you're going places. <laughs> You know, Buscemi could voice Egan, in my opinion. <laughs> I can see that. Buscemi, I can see that'd that. That'd be funny. That'd be funny. Yeah. He's like, hey, Luigi. <laughs> hey, Luigi. <laughs> you want to no, check out his funny. vacuum cleaner? <laughs> it's, it's like a no, Dyson, but it's better. I could just, ima- I could just imagine. Only like, fifty nine ninety nine. <laughs> I could just imagine, like, whenever, if they ever do a Luigi's Mansion movie, which they might, they probably might. Which is like, you know, he, Professor Egan is just like, you know, showing him all this shit, and then Luigi's just there, like, I'm. What, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I'm just going to a mansion, right? Like, looking for my brother. And he goes, no, but you need this vacuum. And then, you know, he just backs out the room real slow. <laughs> like, like, okay. Whatever you say. I, I would love guy. it. Like, I would love to hear Egat actually be manic. <laughs> like, no, I want I him to be, be literal oh my God. insanity <laughs> in a human body. <laughs> like, he is, like, the, like, he's like, like Doc Joker. Brown on, on crack. I say this about everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but William Defoe. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah. imagine him with the goblin yeah. voice. Ah, Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Luigi. Who could play E? Yeah, Dad, man. No, yeah. You just go like you know, with the mm. with, just think about William Defoe. Defoe just being like, that's some neat trick with your vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, what about Tom Kenny's SpongeBob voice? That would be the most unfitting one. That, that, that would be the most <laughs> cursed one, I think. <laughs> like, like, uh, I mean, it's, it be. it's, it's See, be hard. This is what I'm talking about, man. Like, we think of Take celebrities. This vacuum. <laughs> we think of celebrities first just because they're public figures that we know who they are. Not everybody knows all the TV voice actors because. Who there are, are among some those oh voices? God. There are. Oh. oh that would be oh, perfect. Oh. Yes. <laughs> that ghost boy putter got me <laughs> questioning my loyalty to Rome. <laughs> I have a recommendation. Go oh, get the ghost. He <laughs> fucked up my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
This is more of a recommendation. It has nothing to do with anything we were talking about. But Field I have a recommendation. tournament style, up and down on the <laughs> ground. Manja, 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 flabble, domo, romo, flumbo, bomboy, jingle, jangle, every angle, brick a brack a flack a stack a two ton rerun free for all, big ball. I stopped doing. I stopped saying it because if we tried to do it at the same time, it would have been cringe. I know the whole thing. <laughs> I, no, no, I know, no, no, I know the whole thing too. I'm just saying, like, nice. with, like de with desync and stuff like that, it yeah. wouldn't have been. It wouldn't oh, have been yeah. synced up. Like that's so, the only reason I stopped. It, it was so I have up a recommendation. It has nothing to do with what we were talking about because I was just thinking about it. Um, does anyone know about the animation? Uh, a web comic called Lackadaisy. Mm, uh, I, think you, I, I, think you, I think you mentioned it to me last night, didn't you? No, nope. no, I did not. I did not. No. Okay. Um. Black and Daisy, familiar. they just they just made an animated pilot, right? Ooh. Around this webcomic. Oh boy. Watching that, I was like, oh, this is this is good. And then I heard the voice, I'm like, oh, oh this I've is seen really this, good. I've seen this on Twitter. Yeah. A little yeah. bit. I've seen this on Twitter before. Could look at look at that. Watch the actual pilot. I was like, this gives me old Disney vibes in the best way possible. It does. Like, it kind of looks like that um, old Disney cat movie. It even starts out like with the main character Rocky playing the violin, reciting a poem, a poem about the Mississippi. <laughs> it's just like, it, what is <laughs> what is that old cat movie? Not the Arista, uh, not oh, the Aristocats. Aristocats, there's, no. There's uh, that, but there's another one that I'm thinking of off the top of my head. Fucking... I, I think I know what you're talking about because I've seen it before. Cat, I've seen both. Some, of them. Something don't dance. It's like cats don't dance. Cats don't dance. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. cats don't or dance. Some... That's the one. Yeah. It, it looks yeah. like that. Yeah, it looks like that, and it, should, it, mm, it was so good because it, it, it's also a unique setting because it takes place during the uh, Prohibition era. Mm, that's really like cool. the 1920s. We know the rise of the mob. <laughs> <laughs> I guess moonshine, I guess last, like, uh, oh, and all that. Huh? Yeah, and all that. It's interesting. That's just my recommendation. I just wanted to shout that out because I fucking it's loved it. Yeah. yeah. I guess one last thing uh, before we go off here, just to keep it in tune with, uh, I guess, an hour and a half. I um, how do you guys? How do you guys feel about like celebrity actors in all like these movies? Because there's some. Sometimes it's crazy. I, I used to, yes, yeah, sometimes, but not as sometimes. often as you think. No, or like it's as, not often as often as people say. Because the reason I say that is because I've done freelance voice work myself, and there's a lot of voice actors who still get tight about this, feeling like voice actors or common voice actors don't get their shot in these things ever since it became trendy to put celebrities in these movies, or because like you know people like see a celebrity in this role. Or to see a celebrity and it makes them want to see the movie more. I still think the yeah. Mario movie would have been a huge success. I actually don't think it would have been as big without certain castings. Like Jack Black, for instance, among others and whatnot. Like, yeah. they helped with that with this movie for sure. I, I used to lean firmly in the fence of, like, yeah, definitely give, like, new voice actors their shot. Like, it's just, like, blah, 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 it's whatever. But I, now I'm starting to realize I think that just comes from a place of saltiness. <laughs> <laughs> because there are, like, top-tier voice actors now who complain about this. Like, yep. I was talking about this with Dennis the other day. Um, mm -hmm. Gray DeLeslie, like, tweeted a whole... And if you don't... I, I'm sure everybody listening knows who Gray DeLeslie is. If you don't, like, you've watched at least five things that she was in. Azula. You've watched. Up. You yeah, know who she yeah, is. Yeah, Azula, Frankie from Foster's Home, among a million other things. She was, like, in Same every thing fucking with, cartoon. Um, there's, like, Troy Baker. You know, like, you've heard him mm. in a million things. Exactly. Know? Gray DeLeslie is literally the highest paid or, or the most casted voice actress Ever. Like Troy, yeah, I Literally think Troy Baker's ever. the male version of that, but yeah. No, no, he's not. No, he's not. He's no, he's definitely not. No, no, the yeah. number one is actually D. Bradley Baker. That's that's what I was. Makes thinking. sense. I thought it was yes. gonna be something like Tom Kenny or Nolan North because they're no, in everything. No, 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 Nolan North is not in everything. I think Troy Baker's in more things than Nolan North. Is. Yeah, I mean Troy Baker's done a lot of mm. Disney shit, hasn't yeah. he? He's so, like he's, he's like done a lot of Disney, done a lot of video games. Disney voice and shit. Yeah. And as far as like Tom Kenny, like we always will know him only as. Yeah, he's done Sponge with SpongeBob. I know, and yeah, the Ice but it's King. I know, I know, but it's the like, Ice King, you know, Eduardo, and fucking Foster's home. He was Raymundo yeah. in Shaolin Showdown. Yes. yes. Oh my god, yeah, you're one right. of his uh, more underappreciated roles. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, all right, I guess yeah, I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm, right, I'm wrong. I'll, I'll admit that I'm wrong, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, as usual. And uh, fuck you. <laughs> I don't have a rebuttal to that. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll go. Um, I'll fuck yourself. <laughs> and I, I will later. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> because she tweeted that mad about it and i i used to be able to sympathize with them a little more despite them having you know the amazing careers that they have but tara strong did something similar and beyond the two of them having their own unique characteristic issues just as people 
uh-huh. if like you delve into like their personal lives. I just think it's kind of cringe now. Because listen, look, what did we all have fun doing? What did you and Dennis like have a? Uh, what did you, Evan, and you and Dennis have a whole little side topic going on off about for like about five, ten minutes, just about ten, fifteen minutes ago? Oh, oh, I casting forgot. a fucking Luigi's Mansion movie. Yeah, yeah. casting yeah. Oh, Egan, oh, yeah. and you think of yeah. celebrities because that's who you know. Same yeah. thing is like when you're a voice actor or when you're an esports caster like me. If people can't hire you if they don't know who you are, you know, and that's not a popularity yeah. thing. It's a matter of like we literally don't know you exist. Yeah. It's that. yeah. Why so, would we give you a big ass role if we don't know you exist? Yeah. And it's not a one to one thing when it comes to no. voice actors, but like her complaining about it is just cringe to me because there are different portrayals of things, right? You remember mm-hmm. Scoob? That 2020, yeah. that, that 2020. Yeah. It, 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 nobody really, it's not very memorable. People didn't like it that much. Some castings weren't good. I think Will Forte, who they cast as Shaggy, did not do a very good job as the character no. compared to like. Damn, Scooby Doo just been getting robbed, man. Yeah, <laughs> Matt Lillard terrible is terrible fucking Shaggy. pieces like, of media. Yeah, Matt, back Matt, to back. Oh, but the point God. is, it's like they cast. This is a big bad for Hollywood film. We wanted Hollywood mm. actors. Yeah, yeah. But Great De Leslie was unironically pissed that she didn't get casted as Daphne in this. When none of the original voice actors came back for these roles, <laughs> yeah. it's a fucking. It's literally a retelling. Like if she yeah. if she was the only one left out, but everyone else came back. All right, then, lady, you got plenty of yeah. beef to have beef. with these people. Like you got plenty, but none of y'all came back. Like it's yeah. none of a you. retelling. Why are you mad? You're also literally the most hired voice actress ever. It's just kind of cringe because I feel like it's being masked underneath that, this like that's another big thing too. masquerade of like yeah justice for voice actors like get them in these like roles or whatever. But in but, retrospect, but also, I think you... some of them are just pissed that they want more work. And... But that's what I mean. Like she, and they want to be paid more. Talking about Gray, Gray uh, specifically, but you talking to her stand over the multitude of people out there in the world who are still trying to make it. And here's the thing. No one views you as their champion either. No yeah. one actually views her as like, you know, oh my god, yeah, she's standing up for voice actors, voice actors' rights, or whatever. No one actually thinks of her like that. Like, at I all. Only, and I think I think the most respected one is still, I would say, Troy Baker. At least in Myers. No, he, he's not anymore. Do you want to know why? Why? I actually don't know. He had a huge thing where he was like gung-ho trying to fund and like defend NFTs. For voice actors. Oh, never mind. I remember this. He I remember this. He was full yeah. on <laughs> on the fucking AI for voice actors like train. I think he I threw up in my mouth a bit. His, and his reputation Sorted. tanked. Sorted. Okay, when never mind. I, I remember I remember the the NFT thing. I didn't hear about the AI thing. Okay. Well, that's what the NFTs were. He also wanted them to... He also wanted, like, the AI voices to fucking be NFTs. What the fuck? What a weirdo, bro. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there were some people that almost got infected by it. Like, Rob Paulson was actually retweeting some of that stuff, and now he's against them because Twitter, like, straight up, we could actually, actually thank Twitter him. for that, actually educated him on this shit. Like, dude, NFTs are bad, trust. And, NFTs uh, are bad. Same yeah. With AI voices. That's pretty bad. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, for the most, well, because they're used for nefarious, if they're used for nefarious reasons, yes. Yeah, because that's just the whole, that opens up the whole discussion of AI just growing too fast before it can get regulated, which we do not have time to fucking talk no. about <laughs> right now. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to hear you guys' takes on that, because, like, I used to be so gung-ho in that direction of, like, yeah, what the fuck happened? Like, hire young voice actors. You used to never know who the fuck were in these old Disney movies <laughs> and stuff. It was great. And... Now I realize I think that just comes from a place of saltiness, especially from voice actors who aren't even ready to be in those roles. I could give less of a fuck if somebody is a celebrity or not voicing the character. If they're right for the part, they're right for the fucking part. Yeah. That's all yeah. I care about. Making a yeah. quality product. It's That's just all easier I give to a pick shit out. about at the end of the day. And sometimes you the younger people aren't right for the role. Or like the yeah. not that just the TV actors aren't right for it. Like even like in the side roles, John DiMaggio was in this movie. He was literally in this movie. So was Scott Menville, Jessica DeCoco, or DeCiso. I Maniscalco. Don't know how to pre- uh, well, Sebastian Maniscalco, yeah, I mean, no, he's more of a comedian than a voice actor. But, like, like that's what I mean, like, you know, he Carrie was Payton. perfect And Carrie it. Payton as well, like, yeah. they, they were perfect for it, and they got casted. And just because they're not major roles, you're gonna be tight? Like, I yeah. get it, it can be annoying, but, like, again, we as laymans think of, like, Hollywood actors sometimes when we think of casting. Well, you went to Steve Buscemi immediately, Dennis, yeah. when talking about Egan. <laughs> Egan. Because we know him, you know? But well, then I also went to Mongol. Thing. I also went to Celebr- Mongol. No, no, then you also no, went to the no. guy who voiced Mongol. Yeah. No, it's like- a voice for Egan. I know the perfect voice for Egan. Fucking Weird Al. <laughs> oh, you know what? I can see that. 
I could see that. That, that would actually that would actually be great because he'd be on And then he could sing a song. Controlled. He could sing a song just and like Jack Black did in the movie for no reason. Mention, like he pulls Weird out Al- an accordion. What's this? And they <laughs> like, associate like the Luigi's Mansion beat with rap too. And Weird Al could do oh, something like that as well. And he could. He and could. Weird Al's getting to that age too, where he's already starting to sound like a kooky old man. So it's like <laughs> I mean, he's, he's already almost like, in his seventies. That's what I mean. Yeah, like he's already. Jesus like, Christ, he is. He's already dead. there. Yeah. So he does not. Like, he can. Yeah. Who else better? Really. Like, if they casted anybody but Antonio Banderas no. as Puss in Boots, I would have been furious. Because I didn't look at yeah. the credits at the very end. I literally sat... Well, I was talking to Koopa, who I saw the movie with with uh, our friend Riz. And I literally said to him, like, that was Antonio Banderas, right? That's what that shit said? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, thank God. He just sounds like, older. If they, recast him, older. if they recasted him, because first of all, him sounding older was great, as we discussed yeah. a couple weeks ago. But also... I just would have been tight because he is Puss in Boots. He is the soul yeah. of that character. Yeah. But not in the animated shorts or like the nope. TV show, which by the way, there was a TV show for Puss in Boots that uh, yeah, people I don't even about fucking that. know about because it was on Netflix and no one gave a shit. Yeah. And in those shows <laughs> and in the Puss in Boots shorts, even for the movie, oh, that was not Antonio yes. Banderas who voiced him. It was actually Eric Bowser. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, Eric what Bowser. The fuck? Yeah, the guy who does all the Looney Tunes now. And, That's, and, and uh, he did Puss in Boots. Yeah. yeah. And he did a great job at it. But if he, even if he replaced him in the movie, he probably could have done a great job. I still would have been tight. Yep. And I would have preferred the celebrity. Not because he's the celebrity, but because he is the fucking soul of that character. And That's yeah, what matters even, more yeah. than anything else. I think you people know what I mean? Also, Making a like, quality product. Yeah, like, people, I think, also mistake us, like, saying, like, oh, like, you know, as far as, like, celebrity actors go. And, like, I mean, one could argue, yeah, they are taking all of, like, the bigger roles. But here's the thing, though. We're also being pragmatists in this in the way that like look if these are the people that they're gonna like basically hire right again if they get the job done they get the if they could do it if they do it well i'm not gonna complain yeah. like i no one's really gonna complain like I they'll people forget that like celebrities are just an easy choice because you one they're you know them but two mm. for hollywood's sake they're marketable Exactly. Unfortunately, that's what the, that's what it is. Yeah. You know? like, yeah. like some also guys established actors. Look at yeah. Pratt. Like, even Everybody dogged goes, on Pratt. That's yeah. where this yeah. whole conversation came from. And we're and all it, filling out the fucking apology forms now. <laughs> if the I Mario movie poll. taught us anything, it's that jumping to conclusions about casting so quickly is not a very good idea. The yeah. internet is a Yo, very, you'll very, look very like an idiot. I love, I love the quick. fact yeah. that everyone. I still don't. I still didn't understand why Chris Pratt was so hated for like absolutely no reason. You know the thing is though, like I, think, I, was, I was a Chris Pratt hater. But but the thing the was was that as lie. far as like his critics go, they, it was all levels to it. There was ones that just thought, He's I don't weird. really think he is a good choice for it. Other were like, I hate this movie. I hate Nintendo. I hate your mom. And fuck this movie. Like you know, it's just like <laughs> yeah, that yeah. level of hatred. But like the ones who were just at least like me, who were like. Eh, they probably could have gotten someone better, but that was also like us giving our opinions like ten months away before the movie even came out. Yeah. So yeah. at the very least, it's like a lot could have changed. And what? I still also thought that they're hearing all of this right because mm-hmm. when the Sonic movie came out, the oh first one God. and that first trailer, they heard all your guys' complaints <laughs> and they oh, changed yeah, that shit immediately. And that company that did it went fucking bankrupt. They yeah. died for your sins, <laughs> essentially. And so, you spent at the very least, they were listening. Fifty million dollars for this, for this Sega, <laughs> for this Sega. <laughs> so, at the very least, it's like you know, going even back to um, like Pratt and even a few of the others, right? It's like I think the reason why that a lot of people aren't really like no one really. That sounds really kind of draconian, I guess, to say this, but it's like a lot of people don't really care for that argument that like, oh, uh, the lesser known voice actors are not getting the roles that they deserve. <laughs> At the end I'm, of the day, they're I, seeing I, a movie. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know, I'm telling you, the general audience, don't give I, a it shit. sounds terrible to say. I'm not saying that your plight is invalid, like, you know, to all these people, but it's just like, it is. look, yeah. The thing is, is that Hollywood is the business that it is. It you, you're you really like, going to try to change, like, the monolith that is this business? It reminds like, me of the people who argue for, like, artist intention and, like, uh, how you can how you should see the movie. Ninety percent, 99% of the population does not give a single fuck about my how... My father, you know... <laughs> my father literally asked me, like, every character in Puss in Boots when I was watching it with my parents. They're like, oh, Dave, who's that? <laughs> Like, oh, the that? voice actors. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he was curious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, like, even he fucking, like, people are interested in, like, seeing if it's voiced by a celebrity. 
You yeah. know, you get the bright personality stars, it's... And, mm -hmm. uh, you know how it goes. And I'm yeah. not saying, like, we're not sympathetic to their plight. I mean, for sure. Because, like, if like I just care if an actor's right for the part, they're right for the part. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what most people care about. At least I feel. Yeah, like, yeah. again, Gary Payton. They put him in the movie. Yeah. He's the Penguin King. He was the <laughs> Penguin King. Do you yield? There, there is even, like, <laughs> I do. one... Yes! One actor that's, like, up and coming. Like, Timothy Chalamet. I have no idea who the fuck he was before that Dune movie. I, have oh I hadn't my seen God. anything that he was yeah. in. Like, and Dune now, was good, though. Like, that's the thing. Like, he got his break. That's, like, what I'm saying, though. Yeah, like, there's, like, there's another there is some, movie now. Yeah, there's, like, uh, the part two coming out, I think, this uh, November. This so, November, yeah. Part one was, the like, last year. The only movie I know about was that bad one with The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there anymore. <laughs> oh, look at this! Eric Bowser. He was in this movie. He was the Toad General. That's oh, hilarious. Shit. Wow. <laughs> God, that man, it, that man has an uncanny huh. ability to throw his voice. <laughs> it's actually ridiculous. Sure. He's, he's got the some voice, range. He's the we voice must of evacuate. Bugs. He's the voice of Bugs Bunny, and then he also did that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but is Eric, how big is Eric flee. Bowser? Like, um, er Eric like Bowser the hierarchy. Is, well, Eric Eric Bowser voices like all the Looney Tunes. Like all of them. Okay, so all then of them. Yeah. Would he, he is, be like he is an, today's Mel Blanc? Yeah, he he's like yeah. he's considered today's Mel Blanc. In terms of his raw voice talent, like he's just yeah. such a ri so he's if, ridiculously good at changing his. So voice from let's like, say oh, like B to S -tier, like the male right? Tara Strong, just minus the crazy. So would he be like an S tier, like kind of uh, like as voice actor in terms of like kind of just everyone knows him? As far as the TV industry goes, yes. Yeah, as far okay, as the TV okay. industry, yeah, I would. And say Kevin Michael too. Richardson, I forgot who does mostly like television and stuff like that. He was Kamek. Huh. All right, I forgot. Yeah. Which is crazy because like I'm pretty sure Kevin Michael Richardson is normally like. He voices, like, the big black guy sounding dudes. He was Skulker in uh, Danny Phantom. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then okay. he voices Kamek, and he's like, mm, Sire. <laughs> you know? He's also a ridiculously... cover. Also a ridiculously talented voice actor in his own right. Like, these like these people, some of them get their fucking... They get their shots. They get their breaks, yeah. Scott Menville was the Koopa General? I didn't realize that was him. Holy shit. <laughs> you mean the I one who, he... like, turned into a blue shell? Fucking oh, Robin. I love that moment. Fucking he just screams Robin. Out awesome. Blue shell. <laughs> Fucking Robin from Teen Titans was the Koopa General. That's hilarious. Wow. What? And Reno Romano what? was Uncle Tony. Now, see, like, they get some things, but, like, I don't know what people expect. It kind of feels like an arbitrary argument at this point. And a lot of the, no offense, but a lot of the drones that I see on Twitter, I'm just like, you are probably never going to be in a Pixar film. If I'm yeah. being honest, I mean, you yeah, might yeah. one day if you work your ass off it, like network with the right people, blah, blah, blah. But like, it's really just dude, knowing the right people. Not yeah, because they're not giving them yeah. a shot. You also have to be good at this shit first. No offense. That too. <clears throat> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. You, you got, you kind of have to be good or work your craft you so also, you get good. You I experienced know this on a much lesser level from being a smash <clears throat> caster, right? Like I'm doing top eight of a fail safe this weekend. Uh, I think I told you that, Evan. Yes. And it's like. You know, I've been doing this shit for seven years, and, like, there's people who've been doing it for less time than me who, like, do fucking... who have gotten past and gotten bigger gigs. It's because they didn't take a giant break. They meet the right people. I'm not hating. I'm not hateful no, of them. No. You know? We, we gotta, anything, build, we gotta more... build each other up, you know? Like, yeah. In, but on Hollywood, it's a much bigger scale. You're not taking down the Hollywood behemoth of doing this, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry, but, like, Hollywood not... have casting fucking celebrities is not the reason that you weren't in the fucking Puss in Boots movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, but uh, it's because uh, you just weren't right. <laughs> like, the people don't know you yet. Do some more fucking web series first. Also, if you, you want to be in a role that big, you have to fucking earn it. You yes. also know how yeah. to network. And really everybody, do. like, says, like, like, oh, like, what about these people, like, in the movie? Did they earn it? Did they earn they it? Are like, the exception. Dude, just because, no, not even the exception. Just because, oh, like, no. you see them, like, pop up out of nowhere, that doesn't mean they came out of nowhere. Like, and I guarantee, that... I only have 700 followers on Twitter. There's gonna be people watching Failsafe who have no idea who I was, and they're gonna look at me. There's gonna be at least one or two motherfuckers in there who are gonna be like, damn, why do they just, why do they not yeah, give, like, yeah. new casters a chance? Why don't they give new casters a chance? Like, who is they, like, they gave <laughs> this guy, like, out of <laughs> nowhere, just because he knows the right people. I've been doing this for seven fucking years. <laughs> David, you just because also... you don't know who I am, that doesn't mean I didn't earn my key, motherfucker. Suck my so, cock. So just show them, like, your IMD profile, IMDB profile. My IMDB profile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like, <laughs> for have, no like, reason. It's like, look, you think anyone really knows me? Look at this. <laughs> look at all the white on the board. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fill this shit in. <laughs> We're done. It's hot. Uh, I have to edit this uh, and like also take another cold shower.
because it's yeah. legitimately that warm in my room. Well, right? I it's gonna be it's gonna be ninety something tomorrow. Oh and, boy. Uh, it was not. No, it was well, ninety. It, it was well, ninety today. Well, I mean, it's gonna be more hot tomorrow, and then the day Is after, really? it's gonna pour rain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thank Christ. It will. I mean, <laughs> uh, that's what happens. You know, a heat front comes in, and then the cold front meshes with it, and then it get the <clears throat> the summer showers. I'm gonna be outside like how Andy was <laughs> out like when he was out of the fucking thing. I'm like. <laughs> so Dennis ran outside, felt that rain spray on his face, and, and then he went crawling. back inside and got a cold because he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and after crawling through 500 yards of filth and foulness, I cannot even imagine Dennis Chung came out clean on the other side. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, All right, we done. We done. Dennis we done. Chung, we done. A free man who once had a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we're done right. plugs quickly oh. it's an hour and a half right. i literally have to edit this and get it up by noon tomorrow so please do your plugs bendy patty Just... bendy pat please where can they find you twitter bendy pat 96 youtube bendy pat twitch bendy patty i play drums and shit post and occasionally voice act i'm on tiktok now apparently he's also on oh, 4chan yeah. watch out for his stuff he says some spicy things <laughs> or she says some spicy things sorry it's okay. it's if okay. i ever I'm make a 4chan account you have permission to murder me <laughs> i'm just gonna plug lackadaisy watch lackadaisy don't go do it <laughs> all right watch lackadaisy and in case you forgot what you were listening to this is the double d experience it's a weekly comedy banter podcast hosted by me and this guy dennis every single week friday at noon a new episode goes up eastern standard time available wherever you get your podcasts on spotify apple Podcasts, google podcast uh overcast all that stuff that you got going on for you as well as youtube right here at youtube.com slash intunas feel free to subscribe drop a like a comment what was your favorite part of the mario movie your least favorite part whatever and uh thanks so much for 10k views on my nasby video and for 100 views on our uh, Feminist Hollywood Sucks episode of DDE. Not surprised that that one did so well. Hashtags are the meta, women bro. For some, or hashtags. <laughs> I, I hate women, bro. Then it, well, then, <laughs> we've established that. I fucking can't stand them, dog. <laughs> we love you all. I, I I, we gotta end all. it. We're going. Everybody use my say, yin, everybody I Everybody say young. bye. 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 Uh, have a good one. Bro, my ass literally hurts. <laughs> <laughs> my cheeks! <laughs> oh, my ears! Oh, my ears! <laughs>